Hello there guys, PC guy here with a small break in actually playing Elden Ring and bringing you a short video that might help a lot of you. Uh, as a lot of you are aware, Elden Ring has been having some, uh, well, performance issues on the computer. Uh, it's a PlayStation, well, it's a console port like all Souls games have been so far, so it's not completely unexpected, even if it is uh, very, very annoying. So uh, here is some things that I have done that have actually fixed the issue for me. No guarantee that we will fix it for you because it could be a multitude of things causing them, but this is something that has worked for me and I will then uh, kind of uh, give you some pointers on things that have helped other people. Now the first one is, uh, well, tuning down the settings really, uh, the graphical settings. You can come here and under uh, advanced settings. Uh, this is what I am playing with on my uh, 3070. The recommended settings were a lot higher. I turned this down and it helped a little bit. Now, while it helped a little bit, it didn't stop the issue completely, especially while I was recording on streaming. Uh, it was extremely choppy and it took a while to get settings that actually uh, did the job for me. This was uh, what you see on the screen right now is what helped. You can always turn down the resolution, etc. but that's obviously not ideal. But let's move on to what really fixed it for me, and this one really did it. Now for this next one, you are going to want to head to the NVIDIA control panel. For those that are not aware, you can just head down here, right click on the NVIDIA icon and check here, NVIDIA control panel, it'll pop this up. And under Manage 3D settings, you are going to want to cap the FPS of uh, Elden Ring to uh, 60. Now, I'm used to playing at more than 60 FPS with the hardware that I have, but for those of you that want more, you can't have more anyway. Uh, Elden Ring is capped to 60 by default, the engine will not allow you to run at more, and uh, it can cause issues when your PC is trying to push it past the 60 and the game won't let it, so this has fixed it for me. You, can, you don't have to change the whole GPU to be capped to 60, you can come here under Program Settings, look for Elden Ring on this drop-down box, and uh, look for here max frame rate set it to on and cap it at 60 and this one really really fixed it for me this helped the most of out of everything that i've tried but there are a couple other things that you can try if uh, you are still experiencing issues even after this something that apparently also seems to happen is turning off game mode on windows it's usually not turned on by default but you should check if it is or not uh, this is especially useful if you're recording or streaming uh, because it kind of starves your PC of resources from other programs so that the games can have the brunt of it. So uh, here in the game mode, if it's on, just turn it off and uh, it should help. Especially if you're recording or streaming, if you're not, this might not make any difference or might actually make it worse. Uh, even if you're not streaming or recording, however, uh, here the Xbox game bar uh, Turn it off if it's on. Uh, it also uh, does kind of similar. It can cripple your game a little bit. And uh, well, just make your experience worse in general. Now, these are the major fixes that I have uh, read about and tried myself so far. Uh, like I've said, the NVIDIA control panel thing really fixed it for me and everything is running perfectly now. Other more general advice I can give you is like, you know, limit the amount of background processes, uh, close any stuff that you might have in the background, close your Chrome windows if you're not using them, programs that you are not using, like, I don't know, you name it, Spotify or uh, game launchers other than Steam. Uh, just close as much of as you can to help a frame rate. It might help a little bit, but at the core of it, this is a problem from Elden Ring itself, and it will thankfully and hopefully get fixed. FromSoft has thankfully uh, uh, recognized that there are uh, performance issues in Elden Ring, as you can see in the Steam article here, and uh, they uh, claim that there is going to be a patch in the very near future to address this, uh, which we hope it is sooner than rather than later, because I'd love to bump up my graphics even more, and my hardware should definitely be able to handle it, if the game is a little bit more optimized uh, than it is. Other general advice, Update your graphics cards, drivers, if you uh, haven't already, that should help. And uh, yeah, uh, I'm kind of waiting for other fixes, like uh, my controller isn't really doing the job properly, but that's a completely separate issue, and I'm not going to dive into that right now. Anyway, um, hope this helps you guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you're interested in watching Elden Ring gameplay, I am uploading my entire first playthrough through the game uh, on my channel. I don't have a fixed game schedule, it's whenever I have the time to play. Sometimes I uplo upload recorded videos, sometimes I will uh, just livestream for a while. Um, I can't give anyone a time frame, it really depends. 
So uh, keep your eyes out. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to follow that. Uh, that would be greatly appreciated. Streaming such uh, long duration videos or uploading such long videos actually hurts the channel uh, in the YouTube algorithm. So um, it makes people less likely to be recommending my videos. So if you'd like to subscribe to the channel and help a little guy grow, that would be uh, greatly appreciated. And uh, yeah, keep an eye out for the streams when they're up. I will try to keep my eyes on chat and um, interact with you guys. I would love to talk to other fans as well while I'm playing, get some ideas for builds, where to go, what to do, etc. And um, yeah, uh, hope this helps. This has been Attic PC Guy. Uh, see you in the lens between and have fun.